Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun little treat box for you today featuring the Scenic Pumpkin Patch Stamp Set. This is an online exclusive, which just means it's not in the catalog. You have to find it online. Um, and then for the sentiment, I am using the More Than Autumn, which is like my very favorite stamp set in our mini catalog. Um, and we're gonna stamp this calls for pumpkin spice because on the inside, I have some of these Nature's Bakery Fig Bars delicious. I love a fig bar. Um, you can find these probably at your grocery store, but if not, I've linked them on Amazon. All right, uh, let's make the box first, okay? Bring over your Simply Scored. Hey, you're going to need a piece of pumpkin pie that is six and a fourth by seven and a fourth. On the long side, we're going to score it at three and a fourth, three and a fourth, four, and six and a half, and then turn it to the short side and score it at three fourths, and five and a half. All right, now if those measurements went by too fast for you, don't worry, I have a free PDF over on my blog. It has the measurements and the supply list as well as two other scenic pumpkin patch projects if you're looking for more ideas. All right, get your bone folder and burnish those lines. Then get your scissors, your paper snips. And this paper is, um, it's equal on both sides, it's the same. So if you turn it this way, it's the same. If you turn it this way, the same. So it doesn't matter which side you do this. Uh, the first thing you're gonna do is cut off that corner, that square. And notice when I cut off right there, I did it kind of at an angle, all right? That's just gonna help your piece go together a little bit better, okay? And then you just wanna snip those lines, the rest of them. Try to get right in the middle of that score line. That's usually my problem is I cut on the outside of the score line and then I have little bits sticking out. Um, one thing you can do is cut the corners off of your tabs. You don't have to do this, but it'll help it be a little more square if you're like me. All right, now on this tab right here, we're just gonna add some tear and tape. Let's get that peeled off. There we go. All right, fold it over and you should be able to fold that tab in and fold that over, and push this together and then you've got your box, all right? Now, take your bottom, whichever side you wanna use at the bottom. Actually, I'm gonna use this side where I have the corners cut off the tabs. Fold in the sides, fold in the back, and then put adhesive on that one remaining tab. Now you can see here, this is where I my paper um, joined together, the joint of my paper. That's what I try to make the back side um, so that we have that kind of that ugly seam there on the back. And then the other side is my front. All right, so then we'll put this bar in here like that and close it up. Now I'm not gonna adhere this top part because we're gonna tie it together with ribbon in just a second. All right, I am using the Nature Sweetness Designer Series paper. You can see it's got some gold flex on it. I thought that was a nice touch for fall. We're gonna put that right on the front like that. And then take your peach pie ribbon And we're going to tie a bow at the top. Like that. And do I have my ribbon scissors? I don't. So let's see if I can get these paper snips to cut that. There we go. Cut your ends at an angle. All right, there we've got our box. Now let's do our stamping. I'm gonna stamp the pumpkins on a separate piece of paper. I've got a basic white postage rectangle, but we're gonna stamp these over. Whoops, I stamped them upside down. We're gonna stamp these over on a scrap piece and cut them out so that they're um, a little bit in front of the um, fence, but also I wanted to cut the bottoms off. I needed them to be flat and straight for what I am doing. So I decided to just cut them out. So get your paper snips. Now, if you don't wanna do this, you can do masking, uh, which I showed in a previous video. 
Um, that's where you stamp the, in, the image on a post-it note. I put the post-it note over the stamped image on your white paper, and then you stamp your background, and it will uh, prevent you from stamping on top of the pumpkins. But I'm doing a little bit different. I like to fussy cut. I know some of you don't like to fussy cut, and that's okay. There's always a workaround if you don't want to fussy cut. All right, now I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut straight across because I want them sitting flat. All right, we're gonna start at the bottom of our basic white piece, our basic white um, perennial postage rectangle. Um, we're gonna start with the word spice. Whoops, wrong color, wrong color. Let's bring over pumpkin pie. Spice, and then pumpkin. This, when you start from the bottom like this, it's gonna ensure that you have enough room for all your words. This calls for pumpkin spice. Now grab your crumb cake and your fence. Let's actually sneak a piece of grid paper under there. And we're gonna stamp our fence towards the top like that. And then I'm gonna take my pumpkins and let's see, I think I used a dimensional. We'll use a dimensional. All right, and we'll have them just kind of sitting like that on top of those words. All right, now I'm using some leaves that I created in my previous project. If you didn't watch that video, make sure you go over and check it out. These are the autumn leaves dyes, and we created a project over there, well, in the previous video. You'll see that also on my blog post. And I saved some of these leaves for this project. So put your postage rectangle. I put dimensionals on either side of that ribbon. And then I'm going to take the leaves. Aren't they beautiful? And kind of tuck them back behind. Now, usually with a card, we have to worry about them sticking out too far and, and then our card not fitting in the envelope. But we don't have to worry about that with a box. They can stick over the edge. Like that. This is, I really like this one. It has lots of colors on it. There we go. All right, and there is your little treat box. What a fun little fall treat before you start working on your Christmas projects. I think that would make a nice treat for anybody. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. Check out that free PDF and the other two uh, scenic pumpkin patch projects, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.